Hey guys, it's Luna. And welcome back to my channel. I feel like a YouTuber default is like, as you can see by the title today, <laughs> well, yeah, as you can see by the title today, we're doing a get ready with me for ballet class. I have a lot of time to a class, so I'm gonna actually show you like a couple variations of what you can do with your hair and makeup and all that jazz. Normally I start out with my bun because I always love when my hair is out of my face when I do my makeup. I want to show you three different ways that you can do your hair for ballet, at least for me. I'm going to show you a bun, a balanchine bun, and a french twist if it works today. Sometimes the french twists just never work. I'm definitely not your average like bun head when it comes to doing my bun. I don't really use hairspray ever. Only if it's for a show I'll use like just a Pantene hairspray. I definitely love like the messy ballerina vibe, if that makes sense. I don't really focus too much on my ponytail. I just kind of do it um, and try to do it on the crown of my head, not too far back and not too far front. And I love a good poof. So I usually just do it with my hands, but I'll like pull out some hair so that I have some volume in the front. So once I have the poof, um, the pins that I use always are these ones these are like the brand i think it's called bunhead um they look like this i literally lost all of them when i did my show so i have literally none so i've been just using regular bobby pins which work too so i'm gonna try to show you the best i can how i do my bun maybe if i turn around i just twist and go around and then i will tuck it under here and then just literally stuff it, if that makes sense. It's like, just make it as solid as possible. And I just tuck in the rest of the hair, um, and then I just start pinning. I hope you can see this. Always a problem for me is that this is always so high, so I try to pin that up down. Does that look like really bad? Okay. That's literally it. I don't do too many pins. It's just a couple. And I like that it's like small and tight and it, I don't feel like it's gonna fall out at all. I really don't like big flat pancake buns. I used to do those all the time with like a million different twists. It's better to just be simple, you guys, I promise. So that's just the regular ballet bun. I'm gonna show you how to do a balancing bun now, which is really fun. So for the balancing bun, you can keep the same ponytail and definitely try to poof as much as you can. You basically start it out as a regular bun. You're gonna go around like that, keep twisting, and then right when you get here, you stop. So instead of going around like a regular bun, you're gonna flip it and start making another bun underneath, like this, if that makes sense, and then you tuck that in. Um, so it looks like an S, literally makes any sense, and start pinning it as much as you can, because these like to fall out a lot. So just keep pinning it in. And then I always like use my phone to take photos from the back. Oh, good thing it's a disaster. That's fine. I like that it looks kind of messy. That's a balancing bun. I hope that that made sense to you. Um, I like this bun because it's kind of a mixture between a French twist and a bun. The next one I'm going to show you is a French twist. Since my hair is fairly long, French twists are always really hard for me. And I have blown out hair right now, so it's going to be kind of slippery. But we're gonna try. So I like to do my French twist from the bottom up. So I just kind of slick my hair down, almost like a low ponytail. Um, and I take my index finger and I start wrapping my hair counterclockwise, I guess, around my index finger. And I start twisting up like this. Um, it's kind of messy and I just stuff and stuff and stuff and keep twisting. It's kind of like a hook. Um, and just keep stuffing your hair in until it all fits in just fine. And I start pinning. I hope this looks good. I have no clue what this looks like. Oh, that's cute. So yeah, it's always the top that kind of looks weird. So I just kind of pin it in as much as I can. Oh, it looks good. Okay, cute. I'll wear this to class. Those are the three main ballet hairstyles that I use. Whenever I do French twists, I also like to pull pieces out because I look kind of bald. This is only if you are you can do the messy look. Then they get in my face all the time and I go like that anyway, so. 
I'm gonna start my ballet makeup now. When I do makeup for ballet, I always keep it so natural and so light. You wanna stick to cream products as much as you can. I'm using this Glossier concealer. I only do concealer under the eyes, no foundation ever. For brows, I use this Anastasia brow pencil in blonde and just feather them in. This product is so nice because it literally stays on all day. And then my eyebrows love to move when I dance, so I use this Dior Show Bold Brow. Um, and this is just helps them stay in place. For eyeshadow, I always love to have just a little bit of warmth on my eyelids, so I use a bronzer. This is from Tarte. It's called the Hotel Harris Amazonian Clay Bronzer, and I literally just put this on my eyelids. The beauty gurus are screaming at me right now for doing this, but I don't care. It's just the perfect color, and it just adds warmth, and it's so natural. I curl my eyelashes always. Glossy is kind of the perfect ballerina brand. I use their Lash Slick Mascara, which is just so natural, not clumpy at all. And as for bronzer, I'm using the one I used on my eyelids from Tarte. Tiny, tiny bit of this. Um, it's all gonna melt off anyway, literally. All this makeup will melt off by the end of my class. I'll be so sweaty. Um, and then I don't wear highlighter because I sweat enough that I have a natural highlighter anyway. Okay, and then I always like to have just a little bit of color on my lips. So this is the Dior Lip Glow. It just adds like a really natural plum color. And that's literally it. It's just super natural. And then I love a good dangly earring. If you're allowed to wear dangly earrings, you guys literally always ask me about my earrings. These tiny gold hoops I wear a lot. Um, those are from Brandy Melville. These are also a classic. I don't know where they're from, but they're just these danglies. I think I might go with these today. Yeah, I'll go with these ones. That's all for my head when it comes to going to ballet class. class. Okay, I don't have a dress code today, um, so I'm gonna wear this leotard. It's by the brand Elevé. This is actually Kara's. Sorry, Kara, I'm wearing it. <laughs> At my studio, we can kind of wear whatever we want. Um, I know this is not the case for a lot of people, so I wear cutoff tights a lot of the time just because I love that I have like freedom of movement in my legs, and I honestly hate long tights. I know a lot of you guys can't do this, so I'm sorry but that's what I'm wearing today. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Then I always wear like a leg warmer. These are just black knit leg warmers. Um, someone knitted these for me, so you can't buy these, but you can buy leg warmers anywhere. So I'm gonna change and then come back. I'm gonna squat to show you, but this is literally what I wear to ballet class. Um, it's got the cute Leo, um, the little cutoff tights. You don't buy cutoff tights, you just cut your old tights. And then I got my leg warmers. <laughs> um, and then a lot of the time I like to wear a skirt over. This is a bullet point skirt. If you're a ballet dancer and you don't know what a bullet point skirt is, I don't even know. I don't even know. These are just really cute. Just look like that. But we cannot forget, last step, we need to put deodorant on. Okay, the hardest thing for me is trying to pick what scent I want. Because they're all too good. This one is honestly my favorite. I think I might have to go with this one. Citrus and herbal musk because I smell like the freshest man. It's literally so good. I'm going to rub against my leotard right now. There's going to be no white stains at all. Literally nothing. Don't forget to check the link in my description to check them out. So that is how I get ready for ballet class. Just super simple and kind of messy. I love that messy ballet look. If your studio isn't as lenient as mine, I'm sorry. This is probably a really useless video for you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Luna Montana. We just got verified, which is crazy. So don't forget to follow me there for more content. Um, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye. She on me like, hey, yeah, yeah. She said that I can make you my baby. She said that she liked the way, the way I say her name at all.